I remember my nana saying, um, it's like giving a kid a gun in the hand and not telling them what to do with it. Like, because I understand how easily your life could like spiral out of control. Like, I, I could feel it happening. I'm Jane Park, and winning the lottery made me miserable. So at the time that I won, I was living with my mum in a two-bedroom council flat, and I was working at the Scottish Council for Voluntary Organisations. I was on like eight pounds an hour, but at that time, like that was a really good wage. I was 17, so I already thought I was like balling a bit. So it was a Sunday afternoon, and I'd been out the Friday and I basically remembered about my lottery ticket and I was like, oh my God, I might have won a million pounds. And I went to check the ticket and millionaire matchmaker matched the code I had on my ticket. So I phoned my nana, my nana was like, take it to the shop, keep it hidden, like, so I ran to the shop, burst in the shop, didn't even wait in the queue, like, was like, can you check my lottery ticket? So the guy checked the lottery ticket, he was like, I think you've won. I was like Charlie from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, it was literally like that. Ran back and I was like to my mum, I need to use the house phone, like... And then they just said, congratulations, you've won a million pounds. And I remember just thinking, oh my God. And I remember just sitting there thinking like, I am Simon Kimmel, like, I am a millionaire. Like, what happens after you win the lottery? Like, what's the process? Is it a bit of a whirlwind? It's a bit like crazy that first couple of weeks you're told like Camelot were saying don't tell anyone. While I was still on the phone at Camelot and they were telling me I'd won, I was writing a Facebook status. I'm like no one's going to believe me but I've actually won a million pounds in the lottery. I remember all my mates being like you're crazy but I knew it was going to come out in the media so I was like whatever. People always say to me like did you go to the ATM and see a million pounds in your bank like it's no even like that basically goes into a private bank and you just contact them and they transfer your money into your normal bank as and when you want or need it. What is happening in this photo? What's going on? Oh <laughs> so this was like the press part after you like wins finalised and stuff. So there's loads of like press there, there's journalists. The bags were empty so basically they wanted to me to look like this young girl who had all this, that's the dress, it's from Asda. I'm standing there and I remember I was that young, like I couldn't even have the champagne. I had glass eyed and brew and I was like, ooh, like this. It was literally like surreal, like I felt like a celebrity and I still have the check and stuff, like it's mad. I probably thought I was like a billionaire. I thought I was Simon Kimmel, I thought I was going to be on yachts, like have big mansions and that. It's nowhere near like that, it's a million pounds. You must have like gone a bit like mad in that first year. So like I did go a bit mad as in like I bought loads of like <clears throat> designer clothes, I'd buy bags, I'd buy shoes. I have bought like quite a few cars. I used to go out quite a lot maybe like three or four times a week. I would buy tables, I would buy bottles. I was going on holiday a lot. I remember I went to Magaluf and I, <laughs> when I went in this bar and the DJ knew who I was and he had said if you get my name tattoos on you he was like, I'll give you three um, drinks in the, the bar for like a week or something. So I went straight over the road to the tattoo shop and got his name tattooed on my bum. And like, why would I do that? The drinks were like a euro a drink. And I just won a million pounds, like what? But here I was thinking, free bar, that's, that's about me. Like, I had a few weeks of like partying with my mates and I filmed a documentary and it was very much woo. And then man and my family members were like, look, now it's time like to be sensible, like, maybe buy property, so I bought a house. Remember like hitting all this, this brand new building and I remember just sitting there like, what, what am I doing? Like I was in this three bedroom house by myself, like there was nothing, like I was just bored. I just wasn't ready to grow up at that time. I mean, that's fair enough. You're 17 and you just won a million pounds. How did everything change? So basically I went from being this young 17 year old going to work every day to this like massive household name, like, Journalists standing outside my house waiting on me coming out. There was paps on the other side of the road. They were hiding in bushes, they were outside my work. They would literally have just done anything to get a story, whether it was good or bad. I think I went to like an event in IB and I came back and someone had someone had wrote commented in my picture, Are you pregnant? And I remember thinking, why would I be on a girls' holiday and I'd be for drinking if I was pregnant? Like obviously no pregnant. But by the time I'd got back to my phone or back to the hotel and had like seen it all. There was a there was a story in the in the media. 
and it just blew up. Like I've had some horrific messages and the media do play a massive part in that because they choose the photos they pick, they choose what they're writing. I feel like the media even play a massive part in like my self-consciousness in my body. And if they had have probably left me alone, I would not have wanted all this cosmetic surgery and, and I feel like they'd never take responsibility. So you mentioned there that you've had a bit of cosmetic surgery. Uh, so I have had a boob job and I've had two BBLs, so two Brazilian bum lifts. They're the only like ones I've went under the knife and I have a little bit of lip filler and I've had Botox a couple of times like in my forehead. Obviously got my first BBL, but went like horrifically wrong. What happened? How did it all go wrong? Came home from Turkey, I got done in Turkey and I was very unwell. I went up to the hospital, they blue lighted me to another hospital. I was hooked up on drips and I ended up having like to see me and I remember like being in there for like a month and when I got to the hospital the f on the first night she was like if you had have left that 24 hours later like it could have been fatal and I remember thinking like I could have died. And you did another similar procedure again after that? Yeah I done the exact same procedure again. You must have been so scared. I know I was I was literally petrified but I remember thinking I hated my body again and I was constantly in the media again I went to Dubai on the second lockdown. I remember coming back and I had to stop in Turkey and I was like, just make me feel better again. And now like I'm very happy with my body. Going on holiday and stuff, I feel much more confident getting in like a swimsuit. To so know that I feel good in myself, like it vibrates off of me and I feel like people get a better impression of me. But I think people think that like I've had masses of surgery when I've actually no. They always do this thing where they transform me from when I first won the lottery all these pictures every year and I understand the con the difference is massive but people grow up even when if you take a photo of someone when they're 17 and look at them at 26 they, they look different anyway regardless if they've got a million pound or not. And there was a, a moment for you you were like actually like all of these amazing things have happened I've won a million pounds but I'm not sure I'm very happy can you tell me about that? So I remember just like feeling very lonely I felt like all my mates were always working, press was coming too much, like it just all became too much. Like, I remember when people were trying to speak to me and stuff, like I was just questioning everyone's intentions. Like I wasn't necessarily thinking they wanted my money, but I was thinking like you would never have chatted to me before. And how's it impacted on your love life? It has obviously impacted it because every time a guy tries to speak to me, I always try and think, would you have chatted to me if I hadn't won the lottery? Then I always think, like, I wouldn't look the way I look if I hadn't won the lottery. So I'm like, it affects me even still to this day because I have massive trust issues. Just wondering on what people's intentions are. How miserable did it make you? So it literally became to a point where I was like, I hate this. Like, I remember just thinking I'm so young and like, why would anyone put someone this young through these emotions? Because like, I remember my nana saying, um, it's like giving a kid a gun in their hand and not telling them what to do with it. Like, because I understand how easily your life could like spiral out of control. Like, I, I could feel it happening. And you actually eventually tried to sue Camelot. So I actually never even ever tried to sue Camelot. I just I said it because it's a bold thing to say. I knew it was going to catch people's attention. And like at the time, it, I was basically just saying like. How is it 16 to play the lottery but 18 to gamble? And it is a form of gambling, like you could easily become addicted to trying to win the lottery. The age has just recently been changed. I know for a fact my voice had an input on that because I brought it to everyone's attention. When the story came out that I was going to sue, oh, I literally had the worst amount of like abuse online. People were saying like, die, like I had acid attack threats, like it was literally hectic. Like, People were hating on me and I was just this young girl who just wanted to be hard. Like, I remember feeling like my life was shit. Like, I just felt like this is not what I thought it was going to be like. I thought it was going to be like amazing. Like, I was going to be this big massive celebrity. I was going to be all constantly on red carpets and stuff. And like, I was literally sitting in a three bedroom house alone, like crying myself to sleep. Do you still feel like that? Or do you feel happier in yourself? You have good days and you have bad days. Like there's times where I feel lonely and I feel bored and I feel shit. But there's other times where I'm like flying to Dubai and I'm doing nice things like, and I'm, I'm very grateful for the life that I lived. I've been places I would never have been able to go. I've met people that I would never have met. And like, I do feel 
incredibly grateful. But I still get shocked now meeting and seeing new things like. So the question everyone must end up asking you is, are you still a millionaire? I still have a lot of money, I have investments, and I would just ne I would never speak about direct figures. I never want to seem like I'm too flashy, so I would rather just keep it to myself and my accountant, and then I'm happy with that. How much money did you win on the lottery? I won 6.1 million. Jesus. I'm a trained engineer, but I was made redundant. Oh. And I was uh, working as a bus driver in uh, North Staff, South Cheshire. I remember this story on the news. That's right, yeah. yes. How about you? <laughs> uh, just a mill for me.